hi guys welcome back to Sherman's kitchen I want to say a pleasant good evening to each and every one of you if you're visiting my channel for the first time I would like to welcome you to my channel today I'm gonna give a quick review from my last garden video to what's happening right now with all the new things I have to pick and how the garden is doing and I want to say a big thank you to all you guys for your view and your support to my last garden video we've um, made 25,000 K on that video so thumbs up to you guys for your love and your support today I'm gonna share some more of what I have to pick from the garden and what's still to come so I'm gonna start picking some of the chow rai baji or the Jamaican kalalu some people might know it as and what I want to share um, for any garden, no matter what size it is, you reap a great benefit from any kind of garden because since summer started, I never buy green onions again. And green onions, I didn't buy baby green onions. What I did, I bought a set from the store and I cut out the root part of it. And some of you might know because I show it before when I was planting. Uh, the root part I cut off and I planted all my green onions like that and from the beginning of uh, April till now I did not buy another green onion so that's the benefit of a garden and I don't have a big um, garden area but I plant a little bit of everything that I know that I can use so I'm gonna show the space that I have for all my new subscribers and viewers my garden space is just little pieces around my entire backyard <clears throat> but what I have here it's like planting a huge big yard so you don't have to have a lot of room you can still do a lot of planting so this is a same and all my Caribbean friends will know what this is the tree is loaded with my husband made this little thing here for the same plant to run on so it's not blocking whatever is underneath so <clears throat> all over the plant is full of same and this I'm gonna pick and show you guys as I'm picking I'll show you right around the garden so this is the same on the top here and these are some ch more chow rai baji, some pepper in here. These are pepper plants and they're loaded with pepper. We had a little bit of rain, so I don't wanna go too deep for my camera to get wet. But in here have so much pepper. So I won't be buying pepper in the winter because I have lots of pepper here to pick. These are flat leaf parsley or celery, some people say. I didn't have to buy this herb during the um, summer months and this is my squash plant here and my husband have a lot to do with the squash bearing because he helped to pollinate them when the bees didn't do a good enough job for all the flowers my husband was pollinating them with a cutie so I'm gonna show here there is more pepper here lots and lots of pepper to come I have another plant in there and all this flat leaf parsley I've already picked those three big huge squash and now these are the other squashes that I have so look at that I won't be picking squash today because they're not ready fully ready yet there is more in here and there is more in the back here and I have some tomatoes under there I have about half a dozen of squash here there is two here there is this big one here and then there is two more in the back here so we have a whole bunch of new ones coming out as well so the space for a garden depends on how you put the plants down 
and trust me guys it's a very nice feeling when you can pick and reap what you planted look at these beautiful marigolds that I had between the plants I have more tomato here for some people who don't have a, uh, any room at all in their backyard you can also plant in pots like I did here and this pot I kept in inside last year and I bring it out in the summer time and it still survived I'm going to be taking some more plants inside for the winter to save them from dying out and if you're living in a condo or an apartment you can still plant on your balcony in pots because when we were living in our condo we used to plant green onions, tomatoes, thyme, a whole bunch of herbs on our balcony and we used to get a lot out of it so all the space you need sometimes is a few pots with soil and here are the kales we're going to be picking some kales today this is our cucumber there's a lot to pick that i'm going to be picking soon and let you guys know how much i picked today there's more in here and so much more like lots and lots we didn't buy any cucumber since summer started as well no time I didn't buy any time and I have another marigold plant here I have a Swiss chard a few roots of Swiss chard here but it looks like the cucumber is taking taking up their room and my mint so Swiss chard over here and the mint I have to start picking the leaves and drying them and I had a nice ripe tomato in this one here and something picked my tomato I don't know what came into the garden I believe it's a squirrel so I have to keep my eyes out now as soon as the tomato is nice and a little bit on the yellow side I have to pick them so I'm gonna go start picking now and show you guys what I pick after so look how lush and beautiful our kales are we do not use any um, chemical in our garden we only use natural stuff like peelings of fruits compost and sheep manure or cow manure if we have to but no artificial fertilizer so I'm gonna start with from this end and they're so young as soon as I cut them they're just quickly falling off out here now i'm gonna start picking some of the same the plant is full of mature ones it's just a beautiful plant to look at all the white flowers and the same hanging in bunches i just love how the same plant is looking this is the beauty of the of your labor after planting you get to reap all the goodness from your plants, from the garden, and get to enjoy some real organic stuff. I still have a lot more little ones that are coming up, and I will be picking those in a few days from now. But the ones that are ready, I'm going to be making a recipe very soon, so please stay tuned it's coming so this is how much same we picked today and we still have a lot more of little ones coming i'm going to show you guys how how much left on the um, plant that we can pick in another two or three days from now so with all the same that we already picked there is still some more 
that needed to grow a little bit more and I'm gonna pick these once they're ready and that will be in the next few days I love the same plant so much same from this one plant all this white flower will turn into same now I'm gonna pick some pepper look at that this is a fire hot pepper so as they ripe I'm trying to pick them out because I don't want the animals to get hold of them before me I don't think the squirrel would eat pepper because then they will learn a good lesson <laughs> right I think I'll pick it still look at that and this is the second time I'm picking pepper from this plant look in here look look how much pepper so much like every limb look all over here so many I'm so happy with this pepper plant look up here so many peppers this is a really good uh, bear this pepper did so now I'm gonna pick some cucumbers So now we're gonna pick our cucumbers and I think I have quite a few to pick look at that beautiful organic cucumber let me see where the other ones in here are I have to be careful because I don't want to um to it's a little bit prickly to prickle my hand i think on the other side let's get so i'm picking this other two and then there's one right here that i have to pick as well so let me just put this in the back look at that and let me just check the plant to see if there's any other big one to pick i just picked five cucumber and there's a lot more still to come all over like from top to bottom and my husband made this thing for the cucumber to run on so it's not um, growing only on the ground so I find that helps to spread them out instead of sitting on the ground only so a few more to pick but the next thing I'm gonna pick now is some kale I'm gonna pick some of these kale look at that fresh and <laughs> fresh and nice No chemical, natural, organic, the best. Okay guys, so this is our harvest today. Some fresh kale, we're gonna be juicing tonight. Some chaurai bhaji, I'm gonna be cooking soon. I have five cucumbers here, with still a lot on the tree to harvest. I have some hot pepper, and we have the same that we just picked. Even if you have a small little place to plant, you can surely reap a lot. So this is my joy of planting a garden, vegetable garden because there is so much you can get just out of a little garden, fresh, organic, and healthy. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, I wanna say to you guys, Stay blessed, stay safe, bye for now.